Okay, so work story time. Story so, time, story time, story time. Okay, so what what series did I talk about my terrible week at work? Was that Sunshine? Sunshine, I believe. Okay, if you guys watch Sunshine, you know that at the start of the year, I had a terrible week at work. Uh, with just a whole lot of drama going on, a whole lot of bullhock. Bullhock. Uh, long story short, the guy who was causing all those problems, and the guy who caused problems for lots of people in that in that workspace, uh, supervisor, I should mention, got his fired. <laughs> yep. I forgot I told you about that already, but yeah, he he got fired for being a dick, and everybody rejoiced. So yay! <laughs> uh, no, I don't care that I'm talking about this on a public show. Whatever. Have sexual intercourse with that guy. Oh, uh, we were like less than a minute in by like two seconds. You might have to censor me. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's two seconds left. Two seconds? Yeah. Because we started at 35.40, and then it was like 58 seconds after that, and I said the fuck word. <gasps> Mom, Vaughn said the fuck word. Who said the fuck word? <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of Rachel's ex-boyfriends had a brother whose name was Vaughn, and uh, <laughs> at one point, he was tattling on... His brother for saying the F word, but he, but he just said, said the Mom, fuck Vaughn word. said the fuck word. <laughs> <laughs> and that oh, that has stuck with me for years. That was like a high school boyfriend of Rachel's, and Rachel right. has been out of high school for at this point eight years. I've been out of high school for Wait, nine years? You because were not of how high school works? Sister. No, because of how high school works in the UK, I've been out of it for nine years. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you guys get out at sixteen. Uh huh. That feels weird. That feels weird to say. Although I would, what is is sixth form like the last like the optional part where you go to eighteen? Uh, so you can either do like sixth form or two years of college. Uh. And then you do university, which mm -hmm. is the equivalent of U.S. college. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it used to be mandatory, but I'm fairly certain it is now. Like, or maybe it's the other way around. I just know that the year that I started at college was the last year of it being one of the two, like mandatory or not mandatory, and then it switched over, like, right as I started college. Okay. Well, if it was uh, mandatory... Wait, like, oh, like, you you mean what? Like picking sixth form or college is mandatory, but now or then it doesn't matter. Um, the other option would to have been not to do either. Yeah. Like, okay. I think I'm trying to remember if like when I went to college, if if I had the option to not, I think it was that because I think I could have gone out, gotten out of high school and gone straight into like an apprenticeship. Mm-hmm. Uh. But I chose to go to college, and I'm, I'm glad I did. I met Cameron. Good old Cam Stotty. Are you hearing the lack of game audio, too? In five, four, three, two. Did you just bring this back <laughs> from technical difficulties like an iCarly start? <laughs> Maybe. Why? I, I'm still... <laughs> Are there any other other episodes you want to go over? By the way, sorry for the little blip there. Uh, I don't know what happened, but my recording messed up a little bit. But we good. We're fine. Oh, there's, there was we, one there. We hope. Watch there be no game audio. <laughs> Listen, if there was no game audio, I wouldn't be hearing it. You did Wait. it. Okay, then what the heck was the point of the boost panel? It said, don't oh, you need the boost panel to go to different places. I didn't. I didn't so need go the boost panel to go anywhere. I mean, that's true in Mario Kart, too, but they're still there. Shut your butt. You can still take the shortcuts without a mushroom, but it just makes you stupid. Makes you slow. And actually, I take that back because some shortcuts don't work without a mushroom. Never mind. 
Uh, I, I'm pretty yeah, sure like some mind. some like like airborne shortcuts wouldn't work without a mushroom. Yeah, the one that I that came to mind immediately was Dino Dino Jungle from Double Dash. Because there's yep, like I, a, I definitely know that one. You have played through Double Dash with me. I have you fake fake friend. Listen, that was <laughs> at this point close to three years ago. I still find it kind of funny how like you did somewhat decent in episode one, and I was like, oh damn, maybe it'll be challenge here, and then I just rocked your socks for the rest of the series. Yeah, listen, that 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 was one <laughs> of my favorites because that was where Emma came Emma. from. So uh, <laughs> I love that one. I I think honestly, I love Sean's interpretation a little bit more. <laughs> Because, Bring me them bits. Because you got it so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was show me them tits, by the way. Show me them tits. That's right. That's Sean said. <laughs> show me them tits. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh Sean. I love that man. Jacques! <laughs> Jacques. Jackwees. Jack Weez, yes. Jack Black. Go fight Jack Black. I'm not fighting Jack Black until we're done here, alright? Okay, sorry. Don't yell at me. I can fight you, though, because you, you look like him. <laughs> yeah, for that one image. Uh, everyone, go Fred. back and look at uh, King Danger. The thumbnail oh. for King Danger. <laughs> and tell me that this man in that thumbnail did not look like Jack Black. He looked uh, like Jack Black. I sent the picture to Zolf. He's like, Zolf and I Of course you did. Well, we, we, can, we bonded over Tenacious D back in the day. Yeah. Uh, and I think, I, I think Sid saw it as well, and Sid's like, you're literally Wonder Boy. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Zolf agreed, so. It's, it's weird, because like, all right, story time. Uh, story time, story time, story time. So, like probably a lot of people, my first Tenacious D song that I heard was Tribute. Uh, I don't know how much you know about Tenacious D, but... Uh, not a whole lot, but I do know Tribute. I'm okay. gonna die well, here. Don't do that. So that was the first song of theirs that I heard, and Zolf and I, like, kind of... When we first became friends, that's like one of the first things we really bonded over was the fact that we had just discovered Tenacious D and loved him. Uh, we watched the movie together several times, which is like terrible but great. The on the only thing, the only thing that I oh, <gasps> kissy kissy. The only like, thing yeah, that I remember about that movie shit. uh is the the part where he has to use his boner to press the button. Yeah, dude. Did you just? I don't know what killed me, but yes. You died while souped up on flame roids? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. i upset that you died. I don't know how I died. I don't know what hit me. I, I don't know. Anywho. Uh, so we listened to, like, you know, the, their first album, Tenacious D, self-titled. Then we listened to... Uh, pick a destiny, watch the movie, good time. We always quote the movie together. We still do to this day, to be honest. And then, while we were friends, they released Rise of the Phoenix. I say while we're, we're still friends. But, like, <laughs> they released Rise of the Phoenix, and we listened to that, and then, ugh. Long story short, the part that I was trying to get to is, he, Zolf would always pretend to be Jack, and I'd pretend to be, uh, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Like, when, if we were, like, singing the songs together, or just acting or acting out stuff or whatever. Yeah. We were children. Uh, so, he always, he, I, I call him Jables and he calls me Cage, but now, like, I'm the one with the long hair and the facial hair. I mean, I guess Cage is facial hair. Yeah. But I'm also the fat one, so I don't really... <laughs> <laughs> Point is, Go I never quite fit the mold of Cage, at, at least in terms of, like, hair. So it always felt kind of weird, but like he still calls me Cage. Like in no way am I Kyle Gas, but he still calls me Cage sometimes. Yeah, I would say since since I've known you, which has been at this point like eight years. Fuck. 
You you have more resembled Jack Black. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever been a bald fat man, so that, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have become a larger human, but I've never been bald. A and larger fat. human. Yeah. I am a larger human, dude. I wore um well, I've, I was showing a friend of mine some old vlogs, and this friend, for some reason, just has a, a great hatred towards a Data Remembers merch. They're like, I like a Data Remember, but their merch is low tier. I'm like, oh, okay. Oof. And they, so, they literally sold toilet paper, so I mean... I have some over there. It's I know great. they do. Uh, have you used it? I, no. <laughs> Why did that I no know. sound like the magic conch? <laughs> <laughs> Have you used it? No. <laughs> no. Try well, in, asking in, again. In in one of the vlogs, I was wearing the uh, what is it? Is it a baseball tee? What's the the shirt that's got like the three? The three quarter. Yeah, that's a baseball tee. Yeah. Okay, I was wearing one of those that I have. Oh, okay. Good job. And they were, they were like, oh, I see garbage merch on a pretty human. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Didn't you, did you Stab have an ATR, my heart. like, a hoodie that you would wear still have it. constantly? I still have it. The sleeves are, like, all torn. Like, there's holes in, every, in it everywhere. But, yeah, I still have it. <laughs> now it's, like, I don't really wear it that often because it, it's, got, I'd say it's gotten smaller. I just got bigger. Uh... Oh yeah, that was my follow-up point. That basketball, basketball, baseball tee does not fit me anymore. <laughs> oh, was it the one with the red sleeves? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it fits, but it's like really tight. You definitely used to wear that like all the time. I, uh, yeah. Um, follow-up, where's my brain? Come on, brain, come back to me. Come on. I know it's early. I know it's 12.42 in the afternoon, but it's early. Uh. <laughs> Oh my god, I legit- What the hell was I talking about? A day to remember merch? Kyle Gas? No, wait. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm going insane. You were- I know, I was talk- I was talking about the merch, and then I was saying something, and then I was- And then I went back on myself to talk about the fact that it doesn't fit me anymore. That's- The hoodie! The hoodie! The hoodie... Is falling to pieces, but I love that hoodie, so I kept wearing it, and then- now I just wear either my Attack on Titan one, or the one that I got from work that is, like, very insulated because it came from Cold Storage Warehouse, so I just wear that. Okay, but, but there was also, you were talking about something else and I brought up the hoodie. I don't know. So I don't know <laughs> what you were talking about at that point, then. I'm still, like, half dead. I went to bed last night with a crazy headache. And the headache's gone, but, like, the feeling of being dead is still there. Mm hmm I don't know why. Lately, my body has just ached, no matter what I do. Because you have a job again. No, it was before then. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're just a fucking disgrace. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with my body I, aching, but sure. That's the reason. I don't know. I don't know. I thought, in my head it was funny, and then it came out, and I was like, should have kept that one in there, chief. And then you're like, uh, oh, that was a little mean. I don't care if I'm being mean to you, because... <laughs> That's true. Like, I don't either. Like, you know I don't mean it, so... You don't mean it? Oh! Bad. Bad joke. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that one made me feel ill. <laughs> it was so bad. Uh, no, I, that's uh, what. Oh, okay. Oh. That's fucking that, idiot. That's what our commentary <laughs> has devolved into today. It's a little bit of a brain no worky, brain not be very funny kind of day. At least, At least it's not 5 a.m. Sonic 06. Listen, I loved 5 a.m. Sonic 06. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you were like, well, I don't. I don't think you laid upside down, but you were just like laying down on the bed the entire time. <laughs> No, I did, I did lay upside down for a little bit. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Uh, because I was looking at the game upside down for a little bit. 
Yeah, like, that game's already confusing enough, and then you literally flip it on its head and be like, wait a minute. Yep. It's no use! Is it no use? It's... Oh, oh, I'm... There you go. I did say today was very odd brain day. Uh-huh. And I have to go to work after this. <laughs> you I'm need to make a great... comic book after this. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen that video, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. I was oh. just laughing at your voice. <laughs> okay. Uh, y you know who Pro ZD is? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he made a thing about a certain aspect of Danganronpa. <laughs> okay. Because uh, there is a... There's a thing in, like, you know the gist of Danganronpa. You don't know the story, but you know, like, what kind People of game People die, is. evil Mickey Mouse teddy bear. Yes. So, there are trials for you to figure out, like, who killed who. And in those trials, Ooh, uh, there are, like, mini-games. And one of the mini-games, uh, like, the way that it's played changes a couple of times throughout the series, but it's called Hangman's Gambit. Right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and he just has a little thing where he's like, uh, So it seems clear that the victim was killed with this knife, but can you spell knife in this fun game? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but can you spell knife? Yeah. In this fun game? I guess. <laughs> just shows the game. And then there's another part I of it guess. where, like, you have to piece together what happened as, like, a manga strip. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he just goes, you get to make a comic book after this. <laughs> <laughs> Pro ZD I, is one of the funniest people on the internet, oh, I think. He's, he's amazing, yeah. He, he's also the same guy that did the, uh, the... Wake uh, me up. Yeah, the goofy, uh, Evanescence thing. I was going to bring that up, because that, that same person who roasted my merch taste, uh, it's, it's some, someone that I work with, and we were talking about, like, music that we listened to in high school, and we got onto, like, oh, well, I guess it was middle school for them, but what the fuck ever, I got into pop punk late, uh, uh, Evanescence came up, and I was like, you want to know the first time I heard Evanescence? <laughs> it was, uh, it, it wasn't the goofy thing. Um, oh, it wasn't? No, there is a- I think I might have even talked about this guy on the show before. There was a YouTuber called Jen Rummy Meister. Jen uh, Rummy or Jin Rummy? The first one. Oh, okay. that's uh, weird. <laughs> he, ten years ago at this point, uploaded a video which was showing his Pokemon card collection. And he, he literally owned every card from base set up through Platinum Arceus. This dude is probably a billionaire at this point. Oh. With how, especially with how Pokemon cards have been shooting up in value this year, like yeah, why has that happened? Logan Paul. Th what? Okay, th this has the same energy as. Uh, <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> when I was explaining 50 shades of gray. Uh, how Fifty Shades of Grey was uh, like the domino effect from 9-11 to Fifty Shades of Grey. That has the same energy. <laughs> Gerard Way and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Logan Way. Paul. What? <laughs> Logan Paul bought a first edition base set booster box for like an absorbent amount of money. Like a ridiculous... Egg exorbitant. That's the word. Exorbitant? Ex... A big amount of money, uh, and he like live streamed the the opening, and he had like guests on who like bought packs and stuff like that. So that kind of got all the all all his Zoomer fans to be like, "Oh my God, Pokemon cards!" So they started buying them up, and then he kept doing it. He spent over two million dollars on Pokemon cards over the past few months. Oh my word! Yeah, but. He's gonna make a huge return on that because, like, they're all first edition base set and stuff like that. I so don't think he's gonna make two million dollar a two million dollar return because he well, already bought them for the exorbitant prices that they're going for. That's the thing. He's not. He's doing a box break, which means other people pay for the packs. So he bought the booster box, but then he sells the individual packs to people, and then opens them on a live stream. So he did that the first time, and people just paid, like, a set amount for a pack. But then this time that he's doing it, 
he put every single pack from the booster box on eBay. Okay. So, people are bidding crazy amounts for just one base set pack. So from that alone, he's probably gonna make his money back. It wasn't two million for like one box, I'm saying he's bought like a bunch of boxes. Yeah. But he's gonna make probably more than he paid for the one box just from selling the individual packs to people. That's and nuts. Yeah. Because he's been doing this and because he's Logan Paul, he's super well known, everybody's gotten back into Pokemon cards and now every time I go to Target, there's none on the shelf. And <laughs> it makes me sad. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's why. Anyway, back to the guy who uploaded his collection. He had literally every single card from all the sets, including all first edition variants, shadowless variants, reverse variants. He had everything up through Platinum Arceus, and that's the stuff that's worth the most now. So he's probably set for life. Point is, he uploaded that video, and then he uploaded one showing off all of the promo cards that he has, and the music in the background of the promo card video was Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you check if those videos are still, like, online? I literally looked them up yesterday. They're still there. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have a Dragon Boy and over a hundred more Gavins. So we get, we got, we got this more of this level to go. I have no idea where to go, though. Th that, that seems to be, like, the... The way that this game goes is like, I'll get through most of it, and then I will not see anywhere else to go, and I'll be like, I don't know where to go. Press the Sparks button. Well, yeah, but Sparks is just gonna tell me, like, where Gavins are that, like, I just forgot to pick up, like, that one. There you go. Alright, I sent you Jen Rummy Meister's channel so you can check it out. Oh my god, wait! When was this posted? <gasps> He's on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God, he's a. I, I mean, I guess this makes sense, but like, he's a grown ass man now. Yeah, you're a grown ass man now. <laughs> yeah, but this guy—he he looks like a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. I didn't know he was still active because those videos were ten years ago, and then he's barely posted anything since. Let me see, his last video was up- Yeah, his last video was 10 years ago. Okay. Uh, and it was- Oh, that's right. So there's a- There's like four or five variants of the base set. I don't know if you knew that. I did not know that. So there's regular, unlimited base set. There's first edition base set. There's a shadowless base set. And then there's the UK version of base set. So I, th I guess it's four. In fact, I can just look at my folders. Hold on. Uh... I think it's four. Yeah, there's like a fourth print one that was only in the UK. And the only difference between the regular base set and the fourth print base set is the copyright year on the card. Okay. But, like, that makes it technically a different set, so people collect them. And I, I opened up the a booster box of that as his last video, I guess. Oh, this is weird. This is a throwback. He looks so old! <laughs> Oh, Jen, what happened to you? I mean, I guess you just grew up, but... Uh. I keep going into this one because I think it's the one I need to go to. It's not. The one I need to go to is over here. Wrong side. <laughs> I'm still kind of like... I'm laughing on the inside of the... <laughs> Pokemon cards to Logan Paul, Fifty Shades of Gerard Way. <laughs> Like, the look on your face when I said that was, like, the exact look I gave you for that same thing. Well, listen, I feel like Fifty Shades, like, like well, more specifically, 9-11 to Fifty Shades, and then having the reasoning be Gerard Way <laughs> is a little bit more confusing than why are Pokemon oh, yeah. card prices skyrocketing, Logan Paul. Because, like, as soon as you say that, like, I can get it, I'm just like, oh, of course it is. Yeah. It's just, it was just the face you gave me, like, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what happened? See, one more time? Listen, that, that's, that's the brain space that I'm in right now. Mostly because I'm trying to figure out... Mo most of my confusion in this game has had to do with boost panels, I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. Because it looks like I'm supposed to, like, go around this. But then where? And then... Uh... Good question. 
I feel like I remember having to go like over on top of that at some point. I, f I feel like I've asked you this 5,000 times. Have you beaten this game before? I've beaten this game like twice before. Okay. Uh, once playing the original version on my YouTube channel and once on stream. You have a YouTube channel? <laughs> Shut Oh, wait. Right. There's over here. No, like, obviously that's a bit, but yeah, uh, I legitimately forget sometimes that you're also doing your own solo content because YouTube likes to not remind me that you're doing that. I am getting a phone call. Oh, no. Do we need to pause it? No, I'm going to ignore it. Okay. <laughs> Who are you getting the phone call from? I'm gonna Google the, the phone number. Do you ever do that? Oh, uh, yes. It, it's not somebody that you know. <laughs> okay, got it. Oh, okay. It's pro logistics. Again, I don't care. Who? I put who my phone who number that, on. That? It's a job site. Oh. <laughs> I put my phone number oh, on shoot. a job site and I what regret the? it immediately. I should probably take it off. Because they call me and text me. <laughs> I just get emails. What's the fucking follow up to that joke? Where'd it go? Oh, I was thinking of Kim Possible. They call me, they beat me, they really <laughs> want to reach me, but Listen, I just ignore man, them the all. The joke gets less funny when you're like, what was I going for? Oh, right, and then you go for the joke. Yeah. <laughs> but course. after you say what the joke is from, that's how my comedy works. Shut up. <laughs> Look, they just left me a voicemail, too. They do it all the time. It's just the same pre recorded voicemail. It's like, dude. Stop calling me every day. I'm not that stop desperate. Stop calling, stop calling. I don't need a job I anymore. I'm on the dance floor. Yep, that's <laughs> it. That's the song. Yep. Uh, I don't know, like, how... I, I mean, I, I paused our timer when we had the little blip earlier, but uh -huh. I don't know, like, when we're at 30, so I'm going to say give it, like, three minutes. I'm going to say give it, uh... A little bit longer I, than that. Because I, I paused it when when everything flipped out. But... Oh, wait. Why does this look familiar? You've been here before. No. Why does this look so familiar? I don't know. You did say you watched Billy do, this, do these things. Oh, shoot. Mm, yeah, but Billy played the original. Oh. I remember specifically this area. Did you stream this game? I literally just said... I've played it once on YouTube playing the original game and once on stream. Okay, I probably want... Oh, no, I remember what it is. I watched Bryce stream this. Okay. That's why it looks familiar. Cabano. And the Copa... Copa Cabano. Great work. Cabano. I wouldn't say I'd become a master of the supercharge. I wouldn't no. say that at all. You have not. Also, I relate to that dragon because he was drinking a hot beverage from a mug that you can get from teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash Microsoft Sam's talking over me right now, isn't he? But why would Microsoft Sam be talking over you? I thought you were going to hide my promo. Why would I do that? I want you to promo your things. <laughs> your shameless self-promotion on on my own channel <laughs> yeah why would why would you think i would do that fred put a picture of the creepo shirt on screen i want everyone to buy it <laughs> all right <laughs> did you buy one yet no i have to get my first work paycheck and then i'll buy one okay <laughs> okay sweet you should get one for everyone who lives in your house and then get a tiny one for your cats <laughs> I so wish that they made tiny ones for cats. Listen, all I'm saying is if for whatever reason I decide to fly out there, which I don't know why I would because the next time I go there I'm most likely driving, but... Yeah. If I'm not picked up at the airport by three people dressed in Creepwell shirts, I don't want to be picked up. <laughs> <laughs> like at all. That's how... <laughs> Wait. That's, that's how it gotta be. <laughs> Just imagine, like, I can't find you guys, so I go up to customer service, and they're like, Hey, have you seen three people wearing a shirt with a face on it that looks like this? 
<laughs> just do the creep well face. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you just walk up there and be like, oh, you're the guy in the shirt. You're the guy in the shirt. You can't have your hair up for it, though. I Otherwise mean, it won't I, work. I had short hair. Oh, yeah, creep you well did. Picture, so. It would arguably be better if it was up. My hairline has receded, dude. <laughs> like, has it? I'm Vegeta. Look at this. It's like a V. <laughs> that just means you have a widow's peak. You've always had that. Yeah, but it's gotten worse. <laughs> I feel like it goes even further back now. I don't know, man. Like, from, from what you just showed me, I don't see it. Well, oh man. I mean, I already have a large forehead, so it probably like makes it look head. worse than it is. But it's just like when I take my hair down after a long day, hard work at the job factory. <laughs> 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 All right. It, like it just. I don't know, I'm just like, damn, my hair. Is that where you're supposed to go? I don't know. I have forty-four more Gavins left. So there's clearly somewhere I have to go. People named Gavin. Listen, you already put a bunch of Gavins on the screen for Patreon last episode. Not nah, the episode before last. For all oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin DeGraw, Gavin Flood, Gavin Briars, Gavin, Gavin Hastings, Free. Gavin Rossdale, Gavin Menzies, Gavin Where are you getting McLean. these Gavins from? I literally googled people named Gavin. It's the first thing. <laughs> okay. I also like to point out, it says like, Gavin DeGraw, surname DeGraw. Gavin Flood, surname Flood. Like, thank you, I, <laughs> I can read. What is a nickname for Gavin? Gav. Gav. G money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is this website? Nickfinder.com. Okay, hold on. Are you are you trying to find nicknames for Thomas? No, I'm still looking at Gavin. We got Gav, awkward white boy. G money, Gavinator, G man, <gasps> and childish boy. Gavino. <laughs> Oh, there's so many more. Hold on. Oh, boy. <laughs> this, one, this one just says G, and then in parentheses, like the letter G. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> oh, so so not G. Got it. Yeah, not G. Gavi Poo. Gavaroni. Giovanni. Gav Daddy. Chicken Nugget and Homeless. <laughs> Okay, look at the search for your name, please. Okay, I, I want to see on. the nicknames for Thomas. All right. Oh God. These are oh, these aren't even that great. There's a lot of these that are just like Tom altered like text to make it look all fancy. But Tommy, Tom, of course. Toto. <laughs> Toto. Tom, Tom, which is what Herman calls me. Uh. Tomato, Tom. Thomas the Dank Engine. <laughs> Tomo. Tom Tom, but spelt differently. T Tommy Tom Tom Tom, which is also what Herman calls me. <laughs> Did Herman write this website? I uh, possibly. And then biggest G in the house. <laughs> All right. Whenever I visit your house next, which might be before you move over here, I don't know. Uh, I'm calling you biggest G in the house. There's also just Thomas the Toe. These are not great. When we come back to poost, poost your back, Zach's names. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you then, Toto. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Nope. <laughs> Drinking coffee out of me. <laughs>